Hi everyone, welcome to Movie World. I'm Robert Walden. Today, a 1997 dramatic thriller, an exciting motion picture starring and being directed by Clint Eastwood. The movie from Warner Brothers is called Absolute Power. I enjoyed this movie. I saw it in a theater years ago, but now it's popular on television and on pay TV and video on demand. Clint Eastwood stars as a burglar, a robber, a thief extraordinaire named Luther Whitney. Most people think he's retired. However, he's doing one job at the home of a very rich industrialist named Walter Sullivan, played by E.G. Marshall. But wouldn't you know it, after he manages to infiltrate the high-tech security system at this mansion, Luther winds up seeing something he shouldn't have seen. Apparently, maybe somebody else is in the house and engaged in some hanky-panky of the violent nature. Well, believe it or not, a death occurs, call it a murder, and Luther, believe it or not, sees the crime in action. What's he going to do? Is he going to run? Is he going to hide? Who is the man responsible for killing a beautiful woman in this rich man's home? Well, it gets, in the plot gets thicker. So one of Washington's top detectives, a fellow named Seth Frank, is on the case. Seth Frank is played by Ed Harris, who has that very charming demeanor. And you might say he actually kind of admires Luther because he thinks Luther may be guilty, not only of the theft, but also of the crime. Involved also in this intricate story is, believe it or not, the President of the United States, a fellow named President Richmond, played by Gene Hackman, a great Oscar-winning actor. You have a cat and mouse game, you have the FBI, you have the Secret Service, and two Secret Service agents may be in on the fix. Secret Service agents played by Scott Glenn and Dennis Haysbert, and the Chief of Staff of the President, who might be up to her neck in nefarious deeds, is played by Judy Davis. I gotta tell you, I enjoy this movie. I like Clint, he directed this, he's a good actor. If you like Clint Eastwood, if you like his brand of excitement, his brand of entertainment, I think you're going to enjoy this movie. It's a whodunit. It is far-fetched. The movie also stars a very young at the time, Richard Jenkins, as an FBI, or as should say, as a hitman for hire. So there's lots of gunplay, but it's an intricate storyline. It's exciting, good crime, good drama, possible cover-up. And it also features Laura Linney as Clint Eastwood character's daughter in the movie, who happens to be a prosecutor. So there's lots of different strings being unraveled in the story. Bottom line, I had a good time at Absolute Power, and I think you will too. On a scale of 1 to 10, you know what? I like Clint. I'm going to give this movie a 9 if you like serious drama-type thrillers. Thanks for watching. Robert Waldman. Hope to see you again.